Hi guys and welcome to the Performance Kitchen. Now our next guest will be sure to make some saves in the kitchen today. Please welcome Gillian Football Club's Henry Newcombe. <laughs> Woo! Henry, welcome to the kitchen. Cheers, thanks for having me. Not a problem. Now, what are we cooking today? Um, so today we're doing something quite nice and basic that I'd eat after training. Uh, we're doing a chicken breast. We're going to butterfly that um, with some mozzarella and some sun-dried tomato paste. Uh, we'll put it together with some sweet potato chips and asparagus. Brilliant. And what's the first step in this? So first step we've got to do, we've got to chop the potatoes up into yep. chips. Doesn't really, do you want to do a few? No problem. And then we're going to do the chicken. Yep, well, then we're going to butterfly the chicken, um, layer it the inside with mozzarella and fold it all over together with a bit of Torito sausage on top for a bit more flavour. Sounds fantastic. Okay, yep. sweet potato fries? Yep, so really you just want them a bit thin. Yep. So, but it doesn't really matter, not too picky. It will taste the same, will come out different shapes and sizes. And are we going to part boil these to make them? Yeah, just soften them up a little bit. So we'll part boil them just before they go in the oven. So how long do we part boil these for? Uh, just for 10 minutes, just to start softening them up before we make them crispy in the oven. Okay, we'll just get these in as well. Yep. Lovely. Okay. Right, Lovely. what's next? Right, so the chicken breast. Now we've got a butterfly the chicken breast. Mm -hmm. So if I grab this one. That one. Yep. And I'll take this one. There we go. Okay, so what is so, next? Now we've done that, we need to slice the mozzarella. Yeah. So, so we'll let's just get this out change of the way. these chopping boards. Yeah. And we'll move these ones on. So we're not using the same chopping boards for the chicken. Yeah, that's fine. So we literally we split it into two sides. Yeah. So I normally put the mozzarella just line this side with the mozzarella. Like so. Get that off into there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So just one half, just mm -hmm. pack it full of mozzarella. There we go. Okay. That should be enough. Yep, yep, so we've got the mozzarella on one half. Yep. Now we just need a teaspoon for the sun dried tomato yep. basil. I can do that for you. So, literally, you can be as messy as you Should like. Do now. One. Yeah, you can so, it's just this is just, just sun dried put it on tomato. The other side yep. And then just spread it across. Like I'll put the dollops on and then yep. that's spread. Is yep. that about right? Yep, that's fine. That's okay, plenty. so this paste is just, is it like a pesto y paste? Uh, yeah, it's just sun dried. It's, it's a healthy sugar, really. Um, this is the paste, you can just get it from anywhere really. It's quite cheap, it tastes good as well. Yeah. It goes well with the mozzarella. Adds that extra flavour. Okay, and the next step? The next step is the fun part where now we've got to fold it over. So we'll fold the tomato. Yeah. In there. It's, not, it's like making. You just push that down it's like, like a that. Sandwich, isn't it? That's it, it doesn't have to be neat. There we go. Yours looks, right, like yours looks pretty good actually. Yeah, that's all good. Right. Just need to wash my hands before we do the yep. thing. So next thing we're just thinly slicing the torito sausage just to, so we can layer it just on top. Should we go halves? Yeah. Halves on this. There we are. And torito yeah, just adds that extra adds that flavour. Bit, bit of flavour. Infuses it through. Yeah. It's quite nice. Okay, Dave, how's the chorizo looking? Yeah, all good. Yep. Just line it, just a little line. Plenty of chorizo is always good, isn't it? Yeah. We can always put it on the side. You can be as creative as you want with this bit. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, just chuck it on. Look like buttons down the front, don't they? There we go. Yeah, lovely. It's very neat and tidy. I'm, yeah, I'm it's not so when it comes far, out. <laughs> I'm impressed so far, Henry. So these extra bits we don't need. Yep. Okay, Henry, so sweet potatoes have been on now about 10 minutes. Yep. That's great, they should be. Just check these, see if they're a bit soft. Yep, they're about right. Okay. Perfect. So we'll take these off. Great to drain. Yeah, we're going to drain these. I'm turn this off. Yep, so yeah. sweet potatoes, just chuck them just on chuck there. Just chuck them on, love them. Mix there them we go. Up. They look perfect, Henry. And then a little bit of little oil. A little bit of oil on top, There's which some, is it. Just use some macadamia oil, that one. Yep. So just a light sprinkle. Let's make it over a bit. 
covered. covered. And in the oven? Yep. For about how 20 to 25 minutes with the chicken as well. We so go. we're buying both ones in. We'll put the potatoes on top. We'll have to put it in that way. Yeah. Potatoes put in. the potatoes on top because they take a bit longer to cook. And then the chicken underneath. And the chicken's in. Yep. And now we sit and wait. We wait. <laughs> Okay, so the, whilst the sweet potato and chicken's in the oven, yep. should we do the asparagus? Yep, let's get to work on this. So if you have a, you Take a little bit of cheese. Just chop the ends off. Yep. Right. I guess with this you could use any other veg as well. Yep. Why? I've done it with broccoli before. Love a bit of broccoli. Why particularly have you chosen asparagus today? <laughs> <laughs> Most probably today because it's the easiest one to cook. <laughs> yeah. So. Again, I'm cheating again, but yep. So once that's done, just stick this on there. Boiling just water. Leave it to boil. Cool. Three or four minutes, and that'll be done. Right, are we about ready? Do you think, Henry? Yep. Let's get this out. Yeah, let's get let's this show on the road. Watch the smoke. There we go. Oh, it's sizzling away nicely, and it smells delicious. Always good. Nice and crispy. Lovely. I've got a Fantastic. spatula there. Yeah. Just, the, just that side of you. Yep. Should we keep these in for now? Yeah, we'll just keep them in. They'll get nice and crisp. Just get on there. Nice. Right. And the chorizo is really nice and crispy and brown. Struggling with that glove. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Lovely. Sweet potato? Yep, let's get that out. Next up. Sizzling away. These out nice and crisp. And they always tend to caramelise a bit, don't they, as well, sweet yep. potato? Which is always important. Alright. Do you want me to do the Ooh, scoop? Yep. And you hold. Yep. There we go, teamwork. Oh, you've got both trays. That's alright. <laughs> and get this in halves. Bit of oil there. Great. And I guess to have them even crispier, you could even or pop them under the grill sometimes. Yep. There we go. This side. Cool. Well, Henry, it looks like a job well done. Yep. Should we have a taste? I hope it tastes like it. <laughs> okay. What's your, what are you going for first? Oh, I'm definitely going for the chicken first. A little bit, little bit of little everything. Bit of oh, the thing is, the mozzarella, just got to get a yeah, little bit of that. Have you got some there? Yeah, I've got those. And also a little sweet potato. Involved there. Okay, let's go for it. Pretty good. <laughs> Cheers. Give me five. Decent, I like it, the mozzarella. Mm. is coming out and the chorizo is cooked to perfection. Henry, I think good job done. Thanks for having me. No, no thank you for coming, it's been great. So yeah, thanks Henry and thank you everybody for watching the Performance Kitchen. Join us again for the next episode. Bye bye.